Hey people, hope everybody's doing well. Um, more and more things are starting to surface over time. And it's something we've been trying to, we try to be as vocal as humanly possible with multiple suspensions and a lot of things. And um, I've been getting a lot of email and you guys know I get tons of email and, um, and I appreciate it. It's these testimonies and stories of people kind of pouring themselves out and giving their side or explaining what is going on. And the problem is, is the, obviously the government controlled state run media won't cover testimonies or real life. And, um, one thing that I've that that I've seen a consistent pattern on in the last maybe five or six weeks is the amount of young people, family members, co-workers, uh, friends of the family, just people that neighbors are getting cancer and dying within weeks after being diagnosed. Or being going, not feeling well, and going in, and finding out that they're in van, advanced stages for cancer. So the news is even starting to having to cover some of this. More young people are being diagnosed with advanced colon cancer. Why? Collect, uh, colorectal cancer diagnoses have been climbing in people under 50 and more are being diagnosed at advanced stages new research shows did the research get better are we starting to diagnose it better no we know why collector uh, colorectal cancer rates in young people have surged in recent years more troubling most cases diagnosed are advanced stage and researchers aren't sure what is causing the cancers so according to new statistics from the American Cancer Society, the proportion of colorectal cancer that occurred in people under the age 55 doubled between 1995 and 2019 from 11 to 20 points, 11 to 12, 20%. This means that roughly 1.3 million people in the United States are living with colorectal cancer uh, in the United States in 2019, about 273,800 were younger than the age of 55. So this goes into a little bit of history there, but the, the news is saying it. Probably uh, they, they're saying it. They're coming out with it. They have to come forward because there's an overwhelming amount of, of um, cancer and cancer being found and discovered. And, 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 and it, so my point is I'm a, just a small fry little guy that's been around since... 20, this channel's been around since 2012. Kind of telling it how it is, talking about seeing through the BS, don't trust the government, the whole nine yards. But the amount of emails and testimonies I get in on a daily basis is just absolutely horrendous. What if my reach was just a, a few percentage bigger? Because I'm a small fry, I'm a nobody. But what if I was just a bit bigger and I got more reach out there, Right? How much more is happening? How many more people are suffering? How many more people? Now, see, I live in Canada. So this is going to tie back to this video I made the other day for you guys. I'm scared to go to the hospital. Are you scared to go to the hospital? Intense fear of hospitals. I live in Canada. And here in Canada, we have socialized medicine. And we've always had socialized medicine since I could remember. The problem is my local hospital is only open sometimes two days a week, three days a week. The nearest hospital is 70, 60 miles from here in, in almost any direction. So, you know, that ties into what I, a video I made yesterday about 15 minute cities. But anyways, I'm stuck. Like, we're here. And if something happens or if there's a major car wreck on the highway, there's no hospital to tend to. So never mind, you know, people getting cancer and being tended to and getting the treatment they need. They can't even patch up people that get into car accidents anymore because now the, 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 the amount of closures and stuff. And look, wait times longer, emergency rooms. We've been covering this and what's been happening with cities going broke and hospitals discharging people into homeless shelters and, and more and more bankruptcies and things happening. So 
I wanted to throw this out there. So this goes back to Woke to Death. More people dying suddenly, the video I made, the video series I made on my channel. Now this, look at this channel, had an overwhelming amount of testimonies on it. Just the amount of people telling their story on what is happening, how it's happening, how it's affecting their lives, and how people that they know and people that they work with or people in the family or people that they live with have just suddenly died. And unfortunately, the mainstream media is only covering a small percentage of what is really happening. Oh, what's happening? We knew this from day one. We understood this from day one. And what is it going to take? Are people going to literally be woke to death? Or is there going to be something somewhere, somehow, where something's going to give somehow? Where humanity could take back its dignity? Where humanity could take back its own sanity? Where humanity could be logical and reasonable? They said trust the science. I trusted God. Leave your testimony below. Tell us your story. I appreciate the emails. I'll try to get through most of them if I can in the next couple of hours and then and kind of gauge from there where to go. And I've been saying a prayer for a lot of the people that, that have been emailing me. And a lot of these stories to go through them, it's just this, can this whole cancer thing is just so... Uh, I am I blowing this out of proportion? Am I trying to get views? Anyways, guys... Mike Martin's here. I'll see you guys on Mike in the Night. I have spoken.